so now we are going to see next set of reactions of BDC. Now what did we learn earlier? We said same thing. The process is the same but that will vary from there. Benzene on nitration with the nitrating mixture, we are going to get nitrobenzene. We have seen that. Further, uh, when I am using reducing agent, nitro is getting converted to amines. That is your aniline. Further, when I treat NaNO2 in HCl or HNO2 at 273 Kelvin, okay, 273 Kelvin, I am going to get BDC. So, that is quite the standard reaction which I have written. Now, BDC, suppose, if I am going to introduce two important things. What are they? I am going to take aniline to BDC, okay, the structure, not proper. Aniline, yes, now this is your hydrogen. Now, I am going to take phenol just hydrogen I just put it up. When BDC reacts with aniline with amine in the para position and when BDC reacts with phenol with OH in the para position that such reactions are called coupling reactions. So, what am I going to teach now? I am going to teach you coupling reactions. Just see what is the important requirement. In coupling reaction, you are, you, are, you are going to see that the amino group is in the para position and the hydrogen on this side. Here also OH on this para position, hydrogen on this side. Why am I saying that? Just see. Take this BDC and couple with this. When we are trying to couple, we are going to get dyes, different color dyes, yellow and orange color dye. Let's see. I am taking BDC, Cl, that is your N2Cl, no? N2, okay. N2Cl, BDC plus. Club with hydrogen towards this side. That's important. That's why I took hydrogen on that side and NH2 on this side. HCl is out. Minus HCl. Both are, we are showing coupling. They are going to couple together and form one product. Now take this ring here. Structures. Okay. Take this ring. Your nitrogen is still there. N double bond N. Why did I write double bond count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Don't pair. Done. Now, this nitrogen is going to link with this. Now, HCl has gone out, isn't it? So, there is N2 here. That nitrogen is going to link this ring. This is NH2. So, this is your first coupling reaction with amine. Okay, now what is this compound? Para amino azobenzene. Okay, let us write para amino azobenzene. Okay, done. Let us write with phenol. How does this look? Right, so let us erase this and then come back to phenol. Yes, so let us uh, finish and uh, write the product finally now i'm going to show you the coupling reaction of phenol same story so again coupling reaction so for coupling reaction i'm going to take bdc bdc in such a way that your n2cl is on your right hand side and your phenol you are going to write in such a way that your hydrogen is facing the chlorine and oh now during coupling hcl is lost when HCl is lost, what product do you get? You get a benzene ring here. One nitrogen double bond. This is very important. Azo group. Azo group linked with one more. Linked with one more benzene. This one with your OH in the para position. What is this compound now? Para hydroxy, P hydroxy or para hydroxy, azo benzene. So, this is your coupling reaction. Simple. Two products BDC is going to form. What is it going to form? With aniline, we have taken this as phenol. Okay. Aniline, we are going to form para <coughs> amino azo benzene. And with phenol, you're going to form para hydroxy 
पैरा हाइड्रोक्सी अजो बेजीन both are dyes yellow and orange in color so this is how we are going to show you uh, as a coupling reactions i'll meet you again with the next set of reactions